Hey, what's going on, y'all? It's your boy, Key to City, bro. Today, I'm gonna take y'all with me. All right, so I gotta hit up Marshalls. But first of all, we gotta get, we gotta take the vehicle to the car wash, man. I mean, I got bugs all over this, man. If we're driving at night, you know, it is starting to get hot, so them bugs do come out at night. So they've been tearing me up. But nevertheless, bro, we're gonna do that. We're gonna hit up Marshalls. So it basically be like a life, a day in the life of Key to the City. But I'm also probably gonna bring y'all a review too. So yeah, if y'all want to skip to the review, y'all go right ahead. It's cool. But yeah, man, I'm gonna hit the car wash, and then we're gonna go to Marshall. Then we're gonna hit the gym. But yeah, let me show you how bad, how dirty my whip look, bro. Like I'm not used to this. So look at him. Look at him. Dirty, 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 bro. Dirty, dirty, dirty. No, I can't ride with this, bro. We got we gotta get this together. We gotta get this together. First thing first, gotta take that antenna and in, that's antenna. I'm sorry. Let's get. I always keep you a wrench, open end wrench, to take your antenna off your vehicle, man. Cause you know you go to them drive through car washes, they're gonna tear it up. So, hey, that's one thing I like to do. But uh, man, I got a story to tell y'all, bro. So you know I'm in a new location, all right. And uh, I was at work, man. You know I'm on another shift. You know they took me off the shift that I was originally supposed to be on. And, uh, man, I get out there, man. They put me on a job that they know I don't supposed to be on. Bruh. So, I told them, hey, I can't run this job, man. You know, we're not allowed to, like, our company back home won't allow us to run certain jobs. So, I told them. I was like, bro, I can't run this job, man. This woman going to tell oh, he one of those pretty boy types. Look, it's not my fault. Look, that's not my fault you want to call me a pretty boy. Hey, my mama and my dad, neither one of them ugly. So, hey, hey, it runs in the family. But, yeah, man, you know, people are always trying to tell you this, trying to tell you this. Bro, that's one reason. <laughs> I hate to say it like this, but this is one reason. A key, bro, a legit key. Bro, I weigh 265 pounds right now. Way too heavy. I want to walk around 240, 245 because bro, people are always trying to test you, bro. Not just me, they gonna test everybody. And it's not my fault, bro. All you gotta do is kinda take care of yourself. That's not my fault. So, hey, you looking at a guy who, man, I rarely ever drink. I rare, I don't do any drugs. So, hey, I put, and I'm 25, bro, what you think? So, hey, bro, anyway, now let's hit this car wash. Then we're gonna hit this gym. Bruh. Yeah, we at the car wash, bro. I'm gonna show you how to make a $25 car wash worth it. I'm telling you. Now, there's a couple things you're gonna need. First of all, they got like, look, I'm gonna tell you when we get out of here, all right? But first, let me show you how the vehicle, I mean, how my little, how my truck came out. It came out decent for a car, for a drive through. You literally need to hand you wash your hand thing. wash everything. Be real with you. But it did pretty good for uh, a drive through. Just remember to close your, just remember to uh, take your antenna off if you have one and uh, close your side mirrors, you know. And make sure you don't put a brush on. Put a brush on, it's gonna uh, probably them swirl marks in it or them scratches, fine scratches, but nothing beats a hand wash. So I wanna take my Mustang through it. But let's hit it, Marshall, see what's going on, then let's hit this gym. Y'all can see it, we leaving Planet Fitness. Marshall's didn't have nothing in it. Uh, so now I'm about to go back to the suite or whatever hotel whatever you want to call it and i'm seeking i give y'all this review if i can i'm gonna upload this video if i can't i'm sorry it's all the because i don't really want to go buy this uh shoe because I, it's not a shoe that i really want and i like i told you this year we've been more selective so uh I'm trying to save our money and get things that we really actually want in the collection like the aqua five like I never thought I would just actually love that shoe like that, bro. I'm, I, that shoe is insane to me, cause I love fives. But yeah, I'll let you know when we get back to the crib. Once again, everybody is watching me hold this camera, but it's all good. <laughs> uh, so we finally back uh, at the crib, I guess, the hotel, whatever. We finally back. As you can see, I do have a bag right here. I do. So, all right. So this sneaker came out what, Saturday, last Saturday. So what is today? It's Tuesday. So hey. So anyway, my homegirl, she was able to hit on. I mean, she was able to hit, able to hit on her pair, which it wasn't a hard shoe to hit on. 
But uh, yeah, she basically hit on her, her uh, hit on her sides, and uh, she said the shoe actually fit a, a little too big, like a whole size big. So she actually went down a whole size in these. So that may help you. Let's get right into it. So she went back to Foot Locker and got her side. Uh, I never seen these before, so let's see. And it's a grade school pair, so hey, at least I got a pair. And it reads Air Jordan Six Retro. Uh, of course, it's a GS, and it's uh, white, medium gray, and cool gray. And it is in a size four and a half. So shout out Small Foot Game. So yeah, I haven't even looked at these. Let's look into these. Okay, do have a little stamp action right there. Plus, you can still go on uh, sneakers and get these, or even Nike. You can go to Nike and use a little discount and get it too. So, hey. So I want to see how these look. Look, uh, man, it's a small foot. My foot is small. My foot is too small. Uh, all right. All right. Let's see what we working with here. Boom! Small foot game. God, I have never seen. Nobody foot this small. Like I've never reviewed a shoe this small. So uh let's get right into it. I don't know, you know, they got there. she got her own way of lacing her stuff, so let her ride, let her ride. Alright, so boom, like she said, like she normally wear a five and a half, but she said a five and a half feel like a whole like a six and a half. So I don't know if the men's pairs are fitting like this or not, but get the thumbnail out the way. Alright. But yeah, I don't know if the men's pairs are fitting like this or not. But I will say, man, most of the time the grade school pairs be messed up. These right here, you know, they got a little, uh, you know, a little paint right here, a little extra paint. But all in all, you don't have any excess glue stains. The material is premium. Like, it's a, I don't know, man. You know, I passed on this one. Why? Because we got the UNC 5s coming up. You know, your boy need them UNC 5s. Two pair. You know, if you haven't seen my last double up, it was on the Playout 13s right there. First link in the description. But, yes. These right here are clean. I would do a B-roll, but you know, these shoes already been out. I just want to bring it to the family. All right, so basically it's cool gray. I mean, it's the same color blocking as the Carmine's or the UNC 6s. Same color blocking, just white and gray. All right, you know, translucent bottom. And these are fire, man, you ask me. Uh, shoot, what I like about this pair, it's a gray sock liner. So, hey, I would cop. But like I said, we're trying to be more selective and you're looking at $200 retail for men's pairs. Uh, that 200, I already just put on that uh, UNC fives, man. And i tell you another sneaker that I'm going crazy over lately. I don't, and trust me, I'm not keeping them in there like that. I just did it because I had them out earlier. It's the Aqua Five, bro. Y'all haven't seen that Aqua Five video, bro. Second link in the description, right though. I'm going crazy over these. And I, I had decided to keep these. I took the first pair of pack and got this pair of $20 off at JD. Hey, yada, yada, yada. These right here, love them. I can't wait to put them on feet. And they're most definitely going on feet. But yeah, back to the, the I guess you're gonna say the cool gray sixes or the iron gray sixes. Man, these fire, man. That material is super soft, bro. Like, this is buttery. This is buttery. Look at that. And it's a GS pair. It is buttery. Hold up. I don't wanna mess around with the shoe too much, but. All in all, man, my hand too big with this. Was it that toe ball? Oh my god, that alone, bro. I'm telling you, the UNC fives one coming out, or the uh, white cement threes, which I was on the fence about, but passing up on like premium sneakers like this to get the UNC fives or the white cement threes, like it's worth it. It's worth it. Like if it went for those two, I would have this this sneaker. So Jordan Brand, I'm gonna say I appreciate you all for dropping them them that heat. Them bangers that your boy Key won't. Hey, I appreciate y'all, bro, to the fullest. Because I'm, I'm getting to the point now, I'm learning how to say that money, and y'all in trouble. Jordan Brand is in trouble. I'm learning how to say that money. And I'm teaching y'all how to say that money. Just keep watching, bro. But these right here are, are premium. Like, if you want them, you can still go get them on Nike, uh, Nike or sneakers. Same people, but different, you know, different apps. But Or you can still hit your malls up, though, because the malls still have these in certain sizes. Now, if I was to hit in the mall and I seen them uh, in the mall and I can use that $20 off, $20 sometimes can make and break a deal. It did on the Aqua Fives. It made me go back and get these. These are fire. But yeah, uh, man, this premium sneaker, if you like it, go get it. And remember what I tell you all about the yellowing of your uh, translucent soles? They're gonna, that can yellow real easy. 
What did it say? None marking on the bottom? I ain't never seen that. Gotta check mine. I don't know if it's just grade school pairs or what, but, but like I said, though, if you want to um, keep your soul from eliminating or, you know, yellowing, put that soul protector on there. Uh, and also, if you don't do that, you just want to kind of preserve it. Try to wear your sneakers on a nice sunny day like today, and it'll kind of help preserve it too. But, you know, that soul protector help out a lot. But yeah, man, I'm going to wrap this up, though. You know how this looks, so I'm going to, no, hold up, finish. I'll get the eyelid, the, uh, not the eyelids, the lace lock. It's gray. It's a clean sneaker, but it's basically the same way your Carmine 6s and your UNC 6s color blocking. They just hard. They just hard. But I ain't gonna lie, this material is a whole lot better than what's on the UNC 6s and the Carmine. That tumble leather. Oh, yeah. It's hard to pass up on, but when you got some bangers, you know, you gotta do what you gotta do. But anyway, man, I'm gonna go ahead and wrap this up. This is your boy, Key to the City. Help me help you. Help me. And we out.